October. Um, I was born and raised here in Chattanooga, and I am graduating in two weeks with a degree in marketing. Art has just been a part of my life since, you know, forever. It's been on the Alicia Vera Buckles. I go by Alicia Vera artistically. I am 29 and a Chattanooga resident. Have grown up in this area uh, throughout my entire life. And I do art full time. Well, we got really lucky with this opportunity. I think it's safe to say this was a very niche sort of. We're still even shocked that it happened. <laughs> So I mentioned on Facebook that I wanted to do more murals in Chattanooga and the right person saw that just from being from here and, and, and networking for the past several years. Someone picked up on it because I had done a few smaller murals in the city and when they reached out they were like, can it be a collaboration? Do you know Bria? And at that time I was like, oh my god, yes! Like Bria and I knew each other from a few other art events. And yeah, that was kind of how the mural was born. But do you kind of want to talk sure. about how... Our, yeah. our theme came about. So, well, for me, you know, I had never done a mural, so it was just all a surprise to me as well. Um, James McKissick actually recommended me. But for the theme, um, Alicia and I were both abstract artists. Both feel that everyone should have their own perception of what we would create, and they should, you know, kind of have their own narrative to each piece. So for us to create a storyline, that was kind of hard um, for us, but it was uh, challenging and like very rewarding for us to create something like that. But it all started with kind of like a quilt and a grid because we knew we would have to make things smaller and expand them larger to uh, create something this big because we had never never created something <laughs> this big. There are some quilts in uh, the city hall building that I kind of like grew up with. My mom's worked there for forever, and so the the colors of that kind of inspired it and then we also like went around Chattanooga and looked at motifs and other uh, architectural design that would inspire the mural. Yeah, so knowing that we had never done work like this before, we kind of wanted to work uh, with the challenges instead of against them, which is why the grid format was so important and kind of learning the basics about mural work in general. There's several ways to like blow something up. Like you can use a projector. In this case, the wall was way too large at the building. So we had to work within this grid format. And so the quilts were just kind of something that inspired us because all the artists in this hotel are actually female artists, which is amazing. That's kind of why we were super excited. So we really wanted to add this like kind of hidden subtle element to the quilts of like that being such a female like bonding connection especially in the south and so yeah each we decided to like make each little compartment something super unique about who we were as artists or things about the city as a whole like the blue line is very representative of the walnut street bridge we have like this abstracted line which is kind of a nod to the choo-choo the historical industrial elements of chattanooga of what it's been known for and then of course just like me being like bright colors and shapes and bria with her beautiful fluid paint Things. The client asked us the th for the theme to be centered around togetherness, and that was it. So we could get as full as uh, and, and creative as we wanted to get. And so pulling from these elements of Chattanooga, pulling from the quilts, the things we were inspired by, but also just like thinking about Bri and I as collaborators. Like it was this like perfect union of her work and my work, which goes really well together, but is so different. It just really got us excited to kind of like join both of our creative brains and like this was the child. Yeah. And, and one of the things that even I like to push for, even in other murals, like uh, I did a mural for Barking Legs and it's like it's the small details. It's like the parachute cloth being one thing, but it's like even the center is like metallic aluminum paint. Even at Barking Legs, I like put window film on the window. Like I want to like add these like small things that you're like I wouldn't see that anywhere else but like with our work you're gonna you're gonna notice yeah. those details because the details are what set it apart. Uh, I mean obviously they're probably gonna be separate. I mean the abstracted yeah. line is the like, abstracted line is just like it's really, it's really, really it, it was it was the thing we added after the fact. Uh, and but, then for a while with the fluid painting I well we have these like thoughts of a figure or like a different type of image um yeah they wanted they, they wanted uh the client really wanted a storyline and with and which is beautiful that was hard with us but then they kept talking about figures and the more me 
and Bria talked, we were like, togetherness to us means community, inclusivity, uh, like, fellowship. And it was like, figures just felt like you couldn't combine everything into figure yeah. because figures aren't inclusive. Like, there was going to be somebody who got left out, and we didn't want that. Exactly. And, I mean, there's elements like the, the gradient line. That's that's a nod to the queer community. Like, that, sure. you know, like, there's, there's certain things in here... Uh, like the trans flag, the, the BLM colors, like we really want it, like especially this mural coming out in the year where everything was so insane, like I, honestly it was, su- I was subconscious I did that and then I had friends point it out and I was like oh, and it was like because I was so involved and that, that, that imagery was just circling around in my head and I was like that's so beautiful, it's so beautiful that like this is the story of like the year that we just went through and like how to depict joy within, in, that. within yeah. that yeah and with the hands because we were trying to figure out what to do with the whole figure movement yeah i got my friend today to take pictures of me like dripping ha- like paint Dripper out of my hands. hands yeah for hours just trying to get inspiration on how we would do it and so it's like you know growing with the plant but it's also like so how I do my fluid painting. Yeah. It's, it's, it was, you know, it was a non debris actual practice. And then, yeah, we wanted them to be, you know, not skin tones. Yeah. So that it would be more inclusive so and that you can put yourself there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And even if it wasn't, like, we wanted them to be different so that it could show, like, variety. For sure. I don't know. Hands are so monumental in, in a lot of artwork and it's like having this like movement of like pulling together coming apart and like feeding so it's like the heartbeat of the city and the the growth that seeps from that into the community and the circle and the overarching Vision, elements yeah. like everything coming full circle for us for sure because it's you know we we have always wanted to have been artists and have always wanted to do something like this so this was our time to kind of show up and show out. 